Breaking News Nigerians Nigerian Labour Congress Executive Council endorses August 2nd nationwide strike, says Tunubu must revise all anti poor policies. In a communique issued and signed by NLC President Joa Jaro and General Secretary of NLC Ima, at the end of the NEC meeting on Thursday, the NEC members also approved other decisions reached by the Central Working Committee, the CWC of NLC, held on July 25, 2023. The National Executive Council, NEC, of the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, has endorsed the August 2nd nationwide strike and mass protests by NLC over the recent hike in pump price of petrol. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. In a communique issued and signed by NLC President Joa Jaro and the General Secretary of NLC, at the end of the NEC meeting on Thursday, the NLC members also approved other decisions reached by the Central Working Committee. The CWC of NLC held on July 25, 2023. The communique read, NLC in session after exhaustively deliberating and reviewing the current socioeconomic situation comforting Nigerian workers and masses and the hardened smart sufferings and the privation across the nation as a result of the unfortunate actions and policies of the current occupiers of the seat of the government, arrived at the following conclusions in agreement with the, the Central Working Committees, the CWC, earlier deduction that the government has shown this drain and contempt to the plight of Nigerians shunning reasonable dialogue and refusing to take active measures to protect Nigerians instead, he resorted to robbing the people to pay the rich despite the massive outcry across the nation. To this end, the NLC, the NUC in session applauds the reaffirms and support of all decisions of the Central Working Committee meeting of the 25th of July 2023 of the immediate reserve, reserve, reservoir of all anti-poor policies of the federal government, including the recent hike in PMS price, increase in, in school fees, the release of the eight months with health salary of university lecturers and workers and increase in VAT. The immediate inauguration of the president Presidential Steering Committee has agreed in the earlier con consequential dialogue to begin the building across the nation of a coalition of all Nigerians where all will be leaders and all will be followers to call on all civil society organizations and Nigerians whenever they may be to begin mobilization to take action on their own to save our nation and to lead and organize mass protest rallies across the nation to demonstrate outrage against the inhuman actions and policies of the government. NEC agreed to give the federal government a seven days ultimatum within which to meet all our demands and to embark on a nationwide action beginning Wednesday, the 2nd of August, 2022 to compel the government to revise its anti-poor and anti-workers policies. NEC consequently directs all affiliates and state councils to begin immediate mobilization and closely work with associations, individuals, and other entities, including the ones already on the streets, to ensure that government listens to the people. The members of NEC insisted that on seriousness of the federal government towards the creation of frameworks to cushion 
the impact of the of its hike in the price of premium motor spirit PMS or petrol was demonstrated not only in the quality of its representation in the hastily called meeting of yesterday, but also in their up preparedness preparedness to deal with the issues as canvassed. NEC therefore set up strategy committees across all the states, urging all affiliates and state councils, including the civil society, to come out beginning Wednesday, the 2nd of August, 2023, 2020, uh, 2023 across the nation to protest the government's insensitivity to the plight of Nigerians. Why not 31st July? which is Monday, so they won't have the opportunity since courts do not open on weekends to go and get a court order stopping you from strike like they did the last time. Unfortunately, Nigeria is so divided, the strike will soon be interrupted as tribal attack. NLC currently is weak. Let Mr. President enjoy the mandate Nigeria is giving to him. NLC is rest in peace. People don't believe in them again. They lost their credibility a long time ago. They are not really serious. Please. Government must go back to 118 per liter or there will be revolution. NLC, I hope this early morning statement stands. And I hope 48 hours from now you guys won't go through the back door to, to collect Ghana must go back. Okay, we are waiting and watching. The Labour Congress don't try nationwide strike. We are okay with the anti-poor policies. Not everyone will have money. I love APC. I love Tinubu. God bless Jagaban of Africa. They should be serious about it, please. I stand with both that is double standard. Tinubu mean where, Labour mean where, but Labour mean where for Labour, not Nigerians. If they increase their salary, boom, they shut up. Tunubu, on the other hand, must show full sincerity. Okay, guys, these are some reactions from Nigerians. So, I beg, wait till you get to talk concerning this. Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe.